Hello, my name is Sam. I am 16 and I am a nonverbal autistic. People know what nonverbal means. I can't speak, so I use my computer to communicate. Many people don't know what autistic means, though. They have some ideas, but they don't accurately describe me. I was diagnosed at two when it was clear that I couldn't talk. I was a kid in daycare who happily sat in the corner playing with foam puzzle pieces but I couldn't say no when the teacher took them away for nap time. My parents chose not to view my diagnosis as a death sentence. They saw it as an invitation to try connecting with me in a different way. It was a long time before my older brother could accept why I was so different. When he had playdates at our house, his friends couldn't understand why I would scream when the noise from their video games was too loud. I'd flap my hands to calm myself down, and they would tease me by copying me. My brother, who thought I was exaggerating my discomfort, would join his friends in laughing at me. My parents continually stressed to my brother that I was not dumb or weird because of my unique behaviors. I was just different. If brains were computers, mine had different wiring, and so my reaction to things was different. Even if I couldn't talk, my parents believed I could understand speech. They read to me every night, and I loved looking at the words on the page. The letters jumped out to me in different colors, a phenomenon called synesthesia, and it greatly enhanced my ability to read and write. My parents recognized my love of words, so they got me a computer so I could speak with them. Once I learned to type, I never stopped. Now I have conversations with my family every day. We talk about serious things, fight occasionally, and joke often, just like other families do. I tell them that I want to be a writer. They believe in me and my power to communicate with words. I'm fortunate to have a family who accepts me for who I am. Instead of trying to change me to fit society's standards of normal, They've changed the way they see autism and developed other ways to engage with me, to include me in their lives. People believe that autistics like me are in our own little world, that we can't take another person's perspective. Why can't they be more open-minded about autism? Why don't they consider things from our perspective? People believe autistics need to be cured, that autism is an epidemic. That's like saying being female is an epidemic. Autism hasn't hindered me, it's enabled me. You're born autistic. It pervades every aspect of your being, from your thoughts and perceptions to your communication and mannerisms. So it's absurd to hear people refer to me as someone with autism, as if you can separate me from something so ingrained in the fabric of my existence. I am autistic, not a person with autism. Organizations like Autism Speaks don't speak for me. They're interested in finding a cure for autism and suppressing my unique behaviors because they don't understand them. I have friends and family who truly understand who I am and advocate for me, autism and all. I speak for myself and for my fellow autistics when I say that you can't understand autism without us. If you want to make policies and conduct research that actually benefits us, you can't do so without our input. Nothing about us without us. The Autistic Self-Advocacy Network is a nonprofit organization run for and by autistic people. They are committed to empowering autistic people across the world because they believe autistic people should have the same access, rights, and opportunities as all other citizens. They focus on public policy advocacy, community engagement to encourage inclusion and respect for neurodiversity, quality of life oriented research, and development of autistic cultural activities. They seek to inform and educate because they are the experts when it comes to autism. To learn more about autism advocacy and donations, please visit autisticadvocacy.org. This video is part of the Project for Awesome, an annual event that encourages the online community to raise money for charities that decrease the overall level of world suck. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching and, and DFTBA. DFTBA.